I'm glad I didn't start cussing. Me too. It's so, like, I just, I want to break stuff when that happens. Like, what good is it that having this, if it does that? I don't know, but. Okay. So, all right. So, um, I'll let people gather back in. Sorry about that, y'all. No idea why that does that. Can we move the chat to that screen? I don't care. It just really makes me mad. Like, What's up, y'all? Sorry about that. I don't know why it does that. It really upsets me when it does that. It like gets me in a funk. Um, all right, guys. Yeah, hit that like button again. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So now that this is dry, <laughs> but it, the good thing about that is, is it'll it'll be. Uh, a little bit more for this round of adhesive to stick to and then your glitter will definitely stick to that stuff really well so we're just going to spray another round of spray adhesive don't worry about the little spots that's just glue you kind of want to let this set for a second I have the window open, so these fumes aren't too bad. And I have a fan blowing on me that's blowing out the, uh... Yeah, right, Mary Beth? So now I'm going to take these. I'm going to take these off of here. See, that's why you only do a couple at a time, so you can rearrange your area. And I'm going to take this uh, paper. I'm going to move it just up ahead of me here and I have a clean piece right here with no spray adhesive on here no tacky and I can put my glitter down on top of these guys and I have to worry about it sticking to the paper And you get your glitter back and you don't use it all. See what when you do the resin, when you use resin first, it falls off, it's you know, it runs off, and it really like sticks up. Like the glitter, like it doesn't lay flat a lot because it floats. So now with this, this will stick, and you can kind of pick off the uh, the stuff that's standing up if you don't want it on there. And that way you have very nice, smooth coasters. All right, and then what I like to do is you can take another piece. Um, I have this butcher paper that I have here to the side that it's shiny on one side so it's not gonna stick and just press just press down on your on your coasters so you know and this is also the thing I'm gonna be putting I'll put a layer of, of resin on this letting it dry and then putting uh, vinyl stickers down on it and then spray painting it whether it would be a positive or a negative piece um so you're not going to see all of the glitter sometimes you'll see all of it sometimes you'll see just an outline of a figure or a word 
So you really don't need to worry about, look at that, that is just perfect. And see if you got stuff that's sticking up. Tap them off there. Look at that, very nice, very nice. Some of it is sticking up, but look at that. Let that dry. And you have a nice smooth surface and you're not wasting any glitter. How much fun is that? All right, so now get your glitter. Make sure your paper is not all staticky. That's not done. This is a very big piece of paper, so I'm gonna cut this down. Look at that. It's amazing how much glitter you don't use. Like that was maybe up to here. And you get to save it. And then you put your glitter paper down, get your adhesive paper. And by, by now it's kind of dry, so you really don't have to worry about the other sticking to it, which I'm sure you, you'll, you'll get that, but you don't worry about that. We'll do some square ones. All right. My contacts, every time I sit down here and start to read, my contacts start to blur up. Jeff, will you glitter stay sparkly if you sand the flood coat? Uh, yeah. That's that, that's the good that's the good thing about it is the glitter is underneath the resin. So when you mix it with the resin, sometimes you'll be you will scrape the uh, you'll you'll scratch the resin, but it'll still be shiny. I'm looking at the camera like I'm talking to you guys. <laughs> um, you'll you'll scrape some of the resin off, like, and it'll be. Uh, It'll be like a different color because you've scratched off the color of the of the glitter. With this, the glitter is underneath the resin. That's that's a good uh, that was a good question. I didn't even I I always think about that when I'm doing it, but I I always forget to talk about it. So spray you. This is what I was doing when it cut off. Just spray you a nice little film. Just just a, just a just a little layer. And if you want, you can take the heat gun and. Kind of hit that because you want you want the adhesive to stick to your surface. What's up, Clara? Welcome. And then now you take your adhesive and you spray one more layer, and you want to get a good even spray over this. Now we need to move this one. Put it around here. And unless you're really big stickler about your glitter, there might be some glitter left over from here, but I don't think that's really a big deal. If uh, just a little bit's in there, it's not a, no harm, no foul. All right, I'm just gonna use, uh, I forgot to tell you, I'm using just resin glitter as well. This was some craft glitter I found at a 
vinyl shop. Uh, but I'm gonna use the uh, silver halo with the chunky halo and mix it together. So we're just gonna sprinkle this and mix it together so that it will fill in. Cause sometimes the chunky kind of uh, lays over itself and then you get a big piece come off and you don't, that's not a good, that's not a fun time. Cause then when you take it off, there'll be like a, uh, a, a negative space there. But like I said, I'm gonna be painting over these when I put the vinyl down. Cause there'll be like figures and words and whatnot. <clears throat> yeah, this is great glitter. Woo, can y'all see that? That was awesome. Uh, if you guys can see this in person, man, it's very nice all right let's take our piece of uh oh that's a little bit too much so it looks like this actually the shiny side actually uh what's that called static electricity makes it stick to that so i'm going to use the flat side push down so you can get all your glitter nice and stuck to your coaster. Oh yeah, and this is another thing you guys, um, what I'll probably use for these, I'll probably use quick coat because this is just a first layer. You, you just want a quick first layer uh, to hold this glitter down and you could you know I could start on these two hours from now and then put the uh, what I'll do is I'll let it dry uh, give it a good sanding with like maybe a, a 220 maybe a 400 just quick once over put my uh, vinyl down and uh, and then spray paint it take my vinyl up and then put an art coat flood coat over that look at that it looks so good I'm glad I remembered that a place in in my world yeah well th that's the thing you you want to do a quick coat on the first layer um you don't want to do that on the second layer because unless you've got black coasters or you know because you know quick coat will turn yellow on you it, it, it'll, it'll turn amber um get these sides off so that nothing is sticking out and sharp um So now I'm going to do a couple purple and a couple blue ones, but yeah, let's do that. Is this sticky? Yep. Yeah. All right. We'll do a couple blue, a couple purple. We're going to use this lilac, this just resin lilac. Very nice. I think I added some some uh, 
maybe there is a little bit of like halo in this. I'm not sure. Let's put the lid on this because we don't want to spill this. <coughs> sorry, y'all. I feel like I have something, a sticker in my throat. Oops, sorry about that. I just hit the phone. When you use this, you can you can use a respirator if you like. Um, have a window open and have a fan on because this stuff smells like glue. <laughs> and if you're wondering, we do sell these coasters on our website. And if you just joined us, welcome. Please hit that follow button, subscribe, hit that thumbs up. Um, we're just putting a layer of 3M Super 77 down, just a spray adhesive. This is like the super, super stuff. Um, and then what I'm doing is letting that dry just a little bit and then putting another layer down so we know we've got a nice, even coat of adhesive because you don't want any of that stuff to be dry. Let's do, no, we need that to push that down. We might have to mix these two together. No, we'll just do this. We'll just do it quick. That's nice. I mean, you can hear that stuff kind of sticks up. Press that down so it's nice and flat. Knock off the excess. Not a lot here, but might as well just put it back in the, in the jar. Isn't that awesome when you're putting glitter back in and you're trying to pay attention to the leftover and your paper moves? <laughs> oh man, this is so sticky. That's when you know you got a good layer down when, when your coasters stick to your hands. Oh, this is the fine stuff right here. You guys, this stuff sticks to everything. This is that strip club glitter where it just does not come off from what I've heard. Mm-hmm. And you always want to make sure you you just give the, the side just a little tap and just kind of turn it so you know that it's covering all of your coaster with the glitter. A little tap, tap. Such a great color. All right. So we have one more 
set of coasters I want to do. And these, um, these are our special coasters. These are our fun, no cleanup, no hassle. So I didn't, I didn't paint these yet. Um, but what you do with these, I'm going to paint these uh, a teal color. And then put the gold down and see what that looks like. But these are our uh, ocean glitter. Um, the blue is sky blue glitter, if that's what you're talking about. Sorry, I should have showed you all that. Um, these are our acrylic coasters. And what you do with these, they, they come like this. They come with paper on both sides. We sell them in the hexagon, a square, and circle. I think I have to go make the others. Um, but we do have them in ornaments. Um, and what you do is you peel one side off. Just one. That's it. And that's what I do if, if, uh, if I can't, I don't have any fingernails, so I just take an edge of this and just kind of scrape the paper. And don't worry, you're not gonna scratch your, your acrylic. And you just peel that right off of there and you leave one side down. So what that does is it gives you a barrier on the back side. So when you pour your resin, the resin will get on here and there's no cleanup. All you have to do the next day is just peel that right off and you are good to go. I actually think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna see what it looks like if just clear, cause that would be cool, like, to have some light shining through. What do you guys think about that? I'm gonna paint a couple of this color. Look at this color, how nice is that? Oh, you really can't tell, but this is a really great color. I'm gonna take these over here but in the spray paint section and paint these, this color. This is a really nice color. Wow. I hope you all are able to see this color. This is a great color. We're gonna have to let this dry before we put the adhesive on there. That's the good thing about spray paint though. It's, it dries pretty quick. And this is the good thing also about having these uh, having these coasters is when you peel the back, you'll be able to see this color on the back side. And it'll make it'll be nice and shiny. It'll be super nice, like super clean. <clears throat> They'll look really nice. And with these, this is the thing. I forgot <laughs> I made a couple like this. I forgot that when you spray the spray adhesive on these, that it makes it cloudy. So then when you take this off, it's still sp sparkly, but it's not as sparkly as if, uh, obviously if it's, if you didn't spray the, the glue down, but how else you're supposed to get the glitter to stick, you know? You know what I'm saying? So we're just gonna spray these. Get this dry a second. Kind of almost like sanding them. <clears throat> when you give that time to dry a little bit, then uh, when the second coat of adhesive goes down, it has something to stick to. All right. So these. And then we're going to put these on first. And we're going to do gold. 
We're gonna do gold on this. We'll do gold on one and then See, that's the thing. You put enough glitter and it's just gonna cover it up. So there's really no use of <laughs> painting these. Or what we can do, let's try to do this. We haven't done this yet. The only thing with this is that now you have glitter mixed together, but it's Friday. Nothing wrong with that. You just have a little glitter mixed together. Not a problem, you see. Oh, look at that. You can see a little bit through it. <clears throat> So that'll look nice. Oh yeah. You can see through it a little bit. I think I'm gonna leave that. That looks super nice. All right. So now we have these. Here, let's move this glitter. We're just gonna put this glitter since it's two mixed together. We're gonna put it in my cup that I have. A, I have a cup that I save that when I mix glitter together. All right, now we're gonna do these with this super fine halo. No smush. Oh, yeah. I'll do that in a minute. I'll do them when I get done with these. Oh, that looks nice. Whoops. Put a little bit more on here. You could see through those actually. That'll look nice when you put something on that. All right, let's throw this away. Your adhesive paper. And now I have some awesome colors mixed together. I have a cup that I save all my extra glitter. It's like, it's like uh, fireworks of glitter. There's so many different kinds of glitter in here. There you go. And just mix it up. And you can have every kind of glitter in here. All right. So there we go, y'all. We got silver. We got gold and silver with a teal background, which looks awesome. We got blue. I'm not going to pour any resin over these right now. Um, I tried to do that on a skateboard. And that does not work right on a skateboard, just FYI. Um, 
for one, I don't think I let the spray adhesive dry long enough. So the, the, uh, the, what do you call it? The glitter was moving. It moved on the skateboard. So I'm going to let all these dry for probably, I don't know, two or three hours. Just so that I know that it's all dry. And, uh, and then I'll put some uh, clear coat. I'll put some uh, quick coat over them. And the reason I do quick coat is because all I need is just a quick coat of resin over it. You know? Can you not turn the flash on? I guess not. Um, <clears throat> so I'll put a quick coat over them, let it dry, and then I can take, I can cut out all my vinyl, stick it on, spray paint it, peel off the vinyl, and then do a flood coat of uh, art coat. And that will protect the, uh, that'll protect the first coat of resin. You don't have to worry about it yellowing. And there you go. How long was that? That was like, how long did that take? 30 minutes. How awesome was that? <laughs> I ordered Fire Opal from Color Obsession last night. I can't wait. Well, that's some amazing stuff right there. Yeah, tink tink everybody. Low battery. Oh boy. All right. Hold on. I got it. I got it. I had to move it. All right. Yeah, tink 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 tink. As Redline would say on uh, on his post, strong water. All right, I want to show you guys this uh, skateboard deck that I painted. Like I said, I took a couple, seven, <laughs> to get clear coated. The others, I really didn't want to. I didn't want to clear coat this one because I like the matte look. And basically, you guys, this is how I'm gonna do these coasters. I just, you just paint it black. I just painted the board black, put the vinyl down, spray painted it, peeled the vinyl up, and then just kind of added my own little flair to each one. Doesn't that scream vamp all over it with that eyeliner? Like, how fun is that? That's a quick board right there. And then this one, this is the one I'm gonna give away. This is all airbrush with vinyl. I just put the vinyl down, sprayed red, sprayed orange, sprayed yellow, then white, and it looks like fire. How fun is that? If you guys follow me on TikTok, you could win this. You could straight up win this. All you gotta do is follow me. You gotta comment, you gotta like it and you gotta tag some people. This is what I'm really proud of. So this is the, uh, the gold vinyl. This stuff is very temperamental. <laughs> um, and it scratches really easy and it, you could, it, all the bumps and divots and whatever is on your surface will show up. So I decided to etch on it. just to give it a nice little flare and it covers everything like all the little etching covers like all the little mistakes and whatnot how much fun is that
This is the evolution of uh, Bulbasaur. No, oh, right? Yeah. Charizard, Pikachu, and Bulbasaur, I believe. All right. Two more, and I'll let you guys go. Have an awesome Friday. Oh, this is another one that I just did with colors, candy colors. How fun is that? I should have taken this one to get cleared, but my friend's gonna buy it from me. How much fun is that? Okay, two more. But look at this, you guys. I'm really proud of this one. How much fun is this? This character's called Mewtwo. I think I went a little artsy on this one. <laughs> uh, Kim, all I did was uh, I used a pair of tweezers. Like, that's how easy the stuff scratches. Like, I could, I could do it on this. You just, what you do is just, you just draw on it. And you, you have to be real smooth with it, obviously, and just fluent and just lightly draw on it and it'll scratch it. I love this one. That pink smoke fire. How fun is that? I don't know what this one is. Oh yeah. This is all a bunch of Pokemon characters. I put these on one by one, just kind of fitting them where they fit. <laughs> How fun is that? So yeah. We got a little wheezy in the background. Just wheezing away. I really need to get some plastic for these. Alright, so with that, we'll conclude our program for tonight. Love all him, but mine's better. That's true. <laughs> I gotta make another, another uh, female uh, Pokemon trainer. There's a couple on there that I wanna paint. All right, that's awesome, y'all. I was gonna go and get the, the what do you call it? The, uh, <laughs> the thing. Well, thank you, Evelyn. It's like a disco ball of different colors. Yeah, I'm gonna do some more that aren't Pokemon related. So we'll see. I'm getting I'm getting a little tired of doing Pokemon stuff. <laughs> but like I said, I'm getting ready for a convention, so I wanna have a lot of stuff to sell because I sold I basically sold all my skateboard decks the first day I was there <clears throat> thank you Jude I appreciate that thank you <clears throat> Sue alright you guys have an awesome night um, I hope you have an awesome weekend and always always be kind to one another because you never know what somebody's going through um, and always remember we do the tests so you don't have to. I don't know where she's at. <laughs> so you guys have an awesome Friday. We'll see you tomorrow. Saturday, you have an awesome Saturday if you're in Australia. And have an awesome Sunday tomorrow. You guys rock. Thank you so much for showing up and hanging out with me. Even when the live feed failed two times in a row. 
because we don't want to. <laughs> okay, I, I see you. You guys have an awesome night. We'll see you later. Bye.